What's up, guys? Zach Man, doing a little video update on Tron. Uh, so, if we look at the market right now, uh, we did have a leg up, which is good. We met a higher high, followed by a higher low. Uh, so, we're looking pretty positive on the charts here. Uh, looks like the moving average here, uh, the 20 day is about to pass the 200 uh, day moving average as well. So, we'll see in the next couple of hours, a few hours here, uh, how that happens. So, uh, look at the hour chart. Like I said, we're uh, looking somewhat pretty positive. Uh, just need to get to about two and a half cents and then get closer uh, a little bit up further hit some resistance you can't really see out of that so I'm about to switch it to the four hour chart um, but if we can get it like I said three cents is gonna be right here uh, and then obviously followed by four cents further up but uh, right now if we draw the support line it's not looking very positive but uh, for the downtrend anyways that way and then we do another one Coming up from the high up here. Well, no, maybe not quite. I have to do it like this. If I can move it without triggering, there we go. So that's what's looking like. Obviously, we could uh, drop it down a little bit too, and then it'll kind of maybe hit all of them. But uh, so that's just kind of what we're looking at. We're in a little bit of a channel here. We just need to get out of it. Like I said, we we can uh, burst. Pretty much, if you look at the chart, we need to get through twenty. I don't know, about 27, so about two, two and three quarter cents basically to kind of bust through the, the trend and kind of start a new uptrend basically, which is pretty positive. Uh, let's look at the day chart here, see what the 24 hour chart looks like. So I got to zoom in on this bad boy. So it is setting up, like I said, uh, looks like a funnel here. If we continue, there we go. So this would kind of be the funnel, or the funnel basically. So it's going to kind of go up and down until we get to about towards the end of the March, maybe, uh, depending on news, of course. Obviously, this is the fundamentals of the reason of the chart here. So if we get any major news, it could break out any time. But uh, if we just go off the chart here, we're going to see it kind of bounce around this funnel. Um, we shouldn't see any more lower lows um, and uh, any much higher highs until then. But uh, that's kind of what we're looking at as far as the funnel goes as far as news today on Tron get a little drink here uh, Tron now has 2 million users uh, so what's next for Justin Sun and the team um, obviously one of the most talked about cryptocurrencies that has continuously been uh, present during the long and brutal bear market with updates and developments is Tron the 10th largest cryptocurrency to uh, by market capitalization uh, while other currencies have obviously dropped off the map in terms of development. Uh, Tron has been holding strong, maintaining their positions among the top 10 coins, increasing the dApp developments, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, so like I said, Tron has now 2 million users. Uh, apart from the increase in the dApp activity on the Tron blockchain, the number of users accounts has also increased, which is very good. The hyped uh, cryptocurrency project now has 2 million mainnet accounts, so uh, which took only 249 days from the launch of the Tron mainnet. So that is pretty positive stuff. Um, obviously, the achievements of Tron, everything that's done with BitTorrent, and all that stuff. It took 181 days to reach the first 1 million users, and only 68 days to reach another 1 million. So yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy, which is three times faster than the first 1 million. So uh, it's picking up some momentum here, which is really good, uh, especially in the next coming uh, months here. Uh, we'll see, and obviously the developments have high. Everything's going to high. Uh, Sun shared his excitement on the major milestone over Twitter, obviously where he asked his large following of over 900 or almost a million followers how long it will take for us to reach 3 million users. So that's pretty, pretty exciting stuff if you ask me. Uh, so what's next? Obviously, we talked about the upgrade, the Odyssey uh, 3.5 upgrade, which did a number of uh, features for the Tron blockchain following the hard fork. Uh, so we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, there's more to come. Obviously, I know he's been talking about getting a billion users involved. Um, which is pretty pretty crazy, but uh, BitTorrent uh, It's undergoing a second airdrop here on March 11th. So the airdrop uh, again the will reward TRX holders uh, With the ratio of approximately 1 TRX is equivalent to 0 0.01 BTT So the airdrop is coming again. So like I said, there's uh, some good news coming obviously um, New users obviously it should see it should hit 3 million probably faster than the first 2 million so um, my guess and obviously the dApp development is doing really good. We still got a lot of dApps coming in. So 
Uh, it's just a matter of time before this thing just really shoots off. Um, obviously, if uh, Bitcoin goes up as well, if you're trading in Bitcoin or, you know, depending if you're trading Bitcoin or uh, USD or whatever, um, it should shoot off as well. So uh, just keep an eye on it. But like I said, uh, right now we're going to be following the wedge here. If we go to, let's look at the Bitcoin chart from Binance. Just so we can kind of see where it's at with Bitcoin. Pretty much different setup, but... Uh, again, go at the four hour chart. You can kind of see we hit, really didn't hit no higher highs yet, but we do have um, a little bit of an uptrend, which is pretty positive as far as that goes. Uh, if you look at the hour chart, we should see some higher highs, kind of equivalent to, I mean, it's pretty close, a little bit higher than what it closed up, but then it kind of goes back down. But we did, the good news is we hit a higher low. A higher low, but we're just not really getting a higher high quite yet. A little bit right there, I guess it did kind of, but not about the same as that one. So there's a little bit of resistance right here uh, at the 620 Satoshis. So we'll kind of, you know, if we can break through that again, like I said, just like on the USD chart, we just got to kind of break some resistance here. But we'll see what happens, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.